A Ugandan newspaper published a list of what it calls the country's 200 top homosexuals on Tuesday, outing some Ugandans just one day after President Yoweri Museveni enacted a harsh anti-gay law. The tabloid published the names and some pictures of alleged homosexuals in a front-page story under the headline, Exposed. The list includes a prominent gay activist who says the law could spark violence against homosexuals. Meanwhile, the United States government has begun a comprehensive review of its bilateral relationship with Uganda in the wake of this new law. The White House condemned it and says it is contrary to international human rights laws. Officials and activists in Washington are now concerned about whether it will undermine efforts to combat HIV-AIDS. CCTV's Daniel Wrenches reports. It's a sad day for Uganda. Instead of standing on the side of freedom, justice and equal rights for its people. Today, regrettably, a uh, Ugandan uh, president uh, took Uganda a step backward by signing into law legislation criminalizing homosexuality. As the largest bilateral donor to Uganda, the U.S. government is undertaking a thorough review of the relationship. The Foundation for AIDS Research, or AMFAR, thinks officials will focus on how funds are distributed. The U.S. currently helps 400,000 Ugandans who need antiretroviral drugs. I don't know that it makes any sense for us to be providing HIV or other health funding to a government that discriminates against um, one whole group within its country. So I think there are other ways to address AIDS besides providing money for the Ministry of Health. And that includes through community-based organizations and other NGOs. President Museveni criticized what he called social imperialism after resisting pressure from Western nations to avoid signing the law which received strong majority support in Uganda's parliament. A former Hungarian ambassador to the United States and now a prominent gay rights advocate and scholar, Andras Simonyi, says international diplomatic pressure should still continue. When people, uh, whichever minority, whether it's a sexual minority, whether it is a racial minority, whether it is a national minority, whether it's a religious minority, go unprotected. And the government is not able to provide protection to these minorities. Uh, I get worried. And as historic experience shows, the majority easily goes after a minority. And it's really, really scary. The U.S. position internationally has been slightly complicated because a small group of American conservative Christians have supported Uganda's actions, even though the majority of U.S. Christians don't. Human rights groups are calling for the law's repeal, concerned that it will encourage more targeted violence and also prevent people from visiting health clinics, which could seriously jeopardize HIV prevention efforts. But in the short term, they'll be seeking reassurances from the Ugandan government that healthcare workers won't be prosecuted simply for treating patients whom they know to be lesbian, gay, bisexual or transgender. Daniel Wrenches, CCTV, Washington.